it's also important for us to understand certain stages of love because some of the things that drive us into relationships are because we may have missed stages of love. And uh, human beings, uh, this is some psychology or you can refer to some sociology and some social work as well, where people like uh, Skinner would have been uh, you know, grappling with issues to do with the development stages of human beings. There are a couple of writers who've also, um, you know, dealt with uh, with stages of uh, uh, human development and growth. And, and so they've come up with these five stages of growth to say in every person, uh, these five stages are critical for their uh, mental development, their emotional development, and even their spiritual development. Infantile love is a love that you get from your parents where you learn to socially connect uh, with authority, with security, with safety, with family. And in this infantile life, it's a very important aspect to uh, help you in your later years. Those who miss this infantile love may end up overcompensating for what they missed in their childhood. So you find some people who go out with this girl today, tomorrow they're with that girl, tomorrow they're with that girl. Or if they can't get that girl, they start working with prostitutes uh, because they 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 are missing certain things in their life, and they're trying now to overcompensate for that uh, wholeness, security, the safety net, uh, and they're trying to overcompensate that. I had two friends like this uh, in my lower six years. I'm so glad God separated me from these two friends of mine. Oh my gosh, those guys were so reckless. <laughs> Talk about recklessness. You know, we would be going to school uh, and then uh, we would go for studies. But my gosh, these guys used to drink and smoke. And I don't know why we were friends, but we were friends for a reason. And uh, they would smoke and drink and then they would go out and look for prostitutes. And they would come and talk, talk about their escapades with the different girls they would have met and uh, would have slept with. And, you know, and both of them came from broken homes. Um, and it, it just reflected uh, in, in their lifestyle. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm emphasizing this to say, sometimes some of the things we are experiencing are going through are as a result of a missed stage of development. We, we, we have missed a certain stage of development. And as a result, those gaps are created and they come and affect and haunt our lives. So infantile love is very important. And then filial love. Filial love is the social uh, relationships that you have. The love that you feel of, of belonging in a society, whether it's at school, you have those beautiful friends, or you go to a camp. You, if you ever had intense connection at camp that you don't want to go home and for the first week you're writing to one another, you're communicating with one another, after two weeks it sort of sort of fades away. That's filial love, where we get to connect in society. We get to uh, appreciate, uh, uphold and love and get close to one another. Uh, it's a very important aspect of our development as human beings to have friends and connections that develop who you are. And then there's pre-adolescent love. Now they sometimes call this puppy love. Where teenagers is getting form one, form two. I remember <laughs> Woo, in my form two when I was in when I was in form three, form four. Um, you know, I I started liking this girl and she liked me too. We were writing each other letters and then we were using post. Almost every single day we were writing each other letters. I had piles of letters, guys. I had to burn them uh, in order to safeguard my marriage but there are piles of letters of sweet nothings that's what you used to call them that's pre-adolescent love you know so that was a stage it's a stage it's a normal stage of life where you get to connect you are just in that stage where you are getting to understand who you are and then you also begin to understand that i'm a man and this is a girl and you know there's that you're just beginning to understand the connection between a girl and a boy it's a very normal part of life but these days because of media because of exposure people are taking advantage of this pre-adolescent love and as uh, solomon would say uh you know getting entangled in love before it's very time and so you have 12 year olds 13 year olds uh 10 year olds getting involved sexually uh when they shouldn't be and it's because they are at this stage where that is a very normal pr process of life 
And unfortunately, because of lack of guidance, lack of counseling and lack of teaching and, and having missed infant and filial love, they jump into this love not knowing what they are doing. Uh, and, and it actually hurts their future from then onwards. But uh, we've seen also pre-adolescent love in some very popular young people who were uh, impregnated at 12, 13 by somebody who just decided to take advantage of them. It was a pre-adolescent love. Somebody begins to buy you the latest clothes, label, you have all that, all the money that you want, you get chauffeur, you get driven from here and there, and you think, I have found love. This is love. No, no, no. Yeah, you know, it, it is love, but it's not the kind of love that you're thinking about. It's just the love that is a normal stage of your life where you're beginning to discover and identify the opposite sex, a very normal part uh, of our lives. And then, of course, peer love, uh, you know, where we can actually begin to say, I found my school, uh, my, my high school sweetheart. Uh, you find some a person that from the pre-adolescent to peer, you really connect with the person. And uh, with the right kind of conditions, opportunities, you can actually end up marrying that person. Very possible. But each stage accounts for us to take responsibility. And then, of course, the mature love is what then leads to what marriage is all about. And that's an accountable love. So I'll just put out, share those things. It's very important. Mm -hmm.